לא חשבנו בחיים שאי פעם עתיד ליפול אצלנו בבית. וכל הזמן כל האנשים, חברים שלנו, השכנים, שהיו מפחדים. אז אימא שלי הייתה תמיד אומרת להם, תבואו אלינו לבית, הבית שלנו כמו מקלט. תבואו אלינו, אצלנו אין מצב שיקרה משהו. אצלנו זה הכי בטוח. הכל נהרס, הכל נשרף, הכל נגמר, וגם אח שלי נגמר. This woman's brother was only one of many ordinary people killed because of a war that most didn't even understand. Since the beginning of time, mankind has been fighting. It began with sticks and stones, then someone sharpened the stick and turned it into a spear. Gunpowder made it possible to throw a stone with great power, and then someone aimed it into the air, and the rock became a rocket. While mankind made great strides in his ability to kill, He hasn't yet learned how not to fight. While we make progress here and there, creating a peaceful space in which to raise our children and improve our lives, it seems that someone, somewhere, will invariably throw a rock at us for one reason or another. Such was the case in the summer of 2006. Munira Salum and her family, an Arab family living in northern Israel, saw their home destroyed and her brother Muhammad killed by one of the 4,000 rockets fired by the Hezbollah during that scorched summer. On the 6th of August, at 10.00 in the morning, I fell into the house in the house. אנחנו חיים כאן 35 שנים. כולנו נולדנו כאן, כל המשפחה. כולל הסבא של הסבא של הסבא של סבא שלי. לפני המלחמה היו לנו חיים נהדרים, שקט, שלווה, טיולים, לצאת, לבקר. חיים רגילים. תוך שנייה נגמרו החיים. כשנפל הטיל הייתי בבית, אני ואימא שלי. כשהבית נהרס עלינו, אכלתי לצעוק לאח שלי, חמודי, חמודי, בוא תציל אותנו. מעוצמת העדף התפוצצו ארבעה בלוני גז בדיוק בפתח הדלת, הכניסה לבית, כשהוא נכנס להציל אותי ואת אימא שלי. הוא נשרף 85%, דרגה 3, כל הגוף. הוא היה מציל, הוא עבד, כל החיים שלו מציל. הוא הציל הרבה חיים, הציל הרבה אנשים. וכשהגיע הזמן להציל אותו, אף אחד לא יכל לעשות את זה. אלה הן תוצאות המלחמה. אנחנו נמצאים כאן בבית שלנו, בבית של אבא שלי. מה עשינו? מה קרה? מה הגעה למה? מה אנחנו אשמים? זה אנשים חמפים מפשע. You can't know what it's like to wake up one morning and have a bomb fall on your home, or to hit your car, or your breakfast table, or the swing your daughter is playing with. Today, you wake up, get dressed, have breakfast, then boom. A rocket hits your home, your brother's dead, or maybe dying. Everything's destroyed. Everything you've worked for all your life. Once men threw rocks, now they fire rockets. and the rockets destroy everything in their path. The death of Hamoudi Saloum occurred during what is called the Second Lebanon War, a war that straddled the border between Israel and Lebanon in the summer of 2006. Every war has its share of civilian casualties. Certainly many casualties took place on the Lebanese side. This story, however, is about ordinary civilians on the Israeli side during a war in which Hezbollah 
an Islamic paramilitary organization fired some 4,000 rockets into northern Israel from southern Lebanon. This daily barrage disrupted the lives of million and a half people trying to go to work and take care of their children. Fewer than 5% of the rockets fell on military targets. The rest hit where ordinary people live, damaging homes, factories, cars, even hospitals. They killed Jews, Arabs, Christians, and Muslims as well, most just trying to get by and stay out from harm's way. Hamoudi Saloum was among many Arabs living in Israel who were caught in the Hezbollah bombing. In fact, Arabs made up about half of the 4,000 people injured in Israel by these attacks. Most of the rockets fired were Soviet-era Katyusha rockets, and a Katyusha fired into a populated area is no respecter of person. Its lethal payload does not determine the religion or ethnic origin of the people it kills. Colonel Yuli Zonis served in artillery in the Red Army for 27 years. He was there when the Soviets fired the first Katyusha against the Germans in World War II. He knows firsthand its devastating power. Я, например, знал, что и как действует Катюша. Но когда люди говорили о больших повреждениях, больше наносили ущерба, это были уже Катюши более нового типа, которых кроме обычного заряда закладывались разные посторонние детали, винтов, гаек, разных осколков металлических, которые наносили the Hezbollah packed their Katyusha with metal ball bearings, thousands of them that flew in every direction like bullets when the rockets exploded. Thousands of terribly destructive, lethal rocks. Men throwing rocks and families, mothers, fathers, children are all killed. 